Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Going back, it's 12 minutes after 6, and we have a line of showers and storms moving through the area, and in some cases have seen some heavy rates of rainfall, mostly towards Rust County right now, but we also have had just a few shots of rain outside of our studio. Nothing that's been very prolonged. It seems like they've only lasted for about a minute or two, as things are very scattered around the Eau Claire area. But again, just east of Rice Lake, that's where we have some heavy rates of rainfall spanning most of Rust County at this point. Have had a good bit of lightning associated with that, so some of us may have been woken up by a little bit of that thunder. But once this main line of showers and storms pushes through, we won't exactly be out of the woods in terms of shower and storm chances, but those will continue to dwindle throughout the afternoon as we'll have some peaks of sunshine. Uh, to take us into the afternoon as well. This is all associated with a cold front, so it'll make things noticeably cooler for tomorrow and Saturday. But that taste of fall that we have with highs in the 60s, overnight lows in the 30s and 40s, and upper 30s at that, uh, and 40s, it's not going to last very long as it do warm up pretty quickly going into the middle of next week with temperatures that may return back to the 80s. Otherwise, there's a look at our Nicolay Bank sky cam over Hastings Way. Still a good bit of cloud cover, which will be the case this morning. Chances at a few showers and some storms as temperatures remain pretty steady in the mid-60s. That's where we're at right now. A lot of us further towards the east, however, in the mid-50s. 58 right now in Nailsville, 57 in Black River Falls. But there's still some lower 50s even, a little bit towards the Stevens Point area. Otherwise, winds mostly out of the south, anywhere from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But once this front moves through, that is going to bring our winds more out of the north. And that's going to bring in some drier air. For the time being, though, we're starting to creep into that noticeably muggy category with dew points that are in the upper 50s. But that's really the size of it as far as our dew points are concerned. We'll have some noticeable mugginess early today. Once that front moves through, that brings much more comfortable air back into our area. And that'll leave our dew points in the upper 30s and low 40s. So that's going to set us up for some pretty chilly nights over the next couple of nights. But as I mentioned, that taste of fall not going to last very long as we do have a ridge that continues to build out to our west and that will slide eastward pretty quickly and again by the middle of next week towards the end of next week may have some mid and possibly some upper 80s even especially in areas further towards the south. Otherwise going forward we'll have those that main line of showers and storms move through. We'll have some sunshine mixed in with a few clouds, a couple chances at some showers from time to time but late tonight that's where we have just some variable clouds likely staying dry, but some fog develops, and that may impact your morning commute for tomorrow, so just give you a heads up on that. Tomorrow afternoon features some clouds, some sunshine, and possibly a stray shower, but tomorrow night clearing things out and giving way to more abundant sunshine on Saturday, but that sunshine not going to equate to warmth as things will stay on the cooler side. For today, topping out in the mid-70s for the most part. It's a little bit cooler than yesterday, of course, tonight. Partly cloudy, some patchy fog develops, but cooler with, with lows in the low 50s. Otherwise, we stay cool for tomorrow and Saturday with mid-60s for our highs in the Cooley region, but then warm up pretty quickly. Again, overnight lows potentially reaching the upper 30s and low 40s, but then back to the low to mid-80s by the middle of next week as overnight lows rebound back to the upper 50s and potentially low 60s. Now for a Sunshine Award, Megan Johnson would like to nominate Kat Dagger and Kat's Poorhouse staff and says, I got extremely ill at the beginning of the year and it was scary. I was the assistant manager at Kat's at the time and became unable to work. The staff was amazing at making sure my shifts were covered. They helped raise a little extra money for me too. They were all willing to help and I deeply appreciated that from the staff and customers. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.